All right, here, when you look at the biochemical nature of a cell, there really is kind of a big picture slide you have to consider. It's this cell. We'll get into all the components next week. But it comes down to those biomolecules, right? Proteins, water, lipids. Well, water's not a biomolecule, but that'll, that'll be good enough. It's an important molecule for life. Nucleotides, or nucleic acids, and carbohydrates. The four biomolecules, right? The four macromolecules of life. And so you'll notice here that each one of these molecules has a function. So nucleotides are for information. For the most part, there's going to be some other uses. You know, ATP, for instance, is energy. And ATP is a nucleic acid. And also, you'll see that nucleic acids can be used in, in uh, as, as enzymes, actually. Specifically, RNA can be used as enzymes. So there's function here. There's function here. The molecule is not just, an, uh, it's not just a name. They actually do something. So ATP is the currency of the cell. By the way, there's a GTP and CTP as well. ATGCT. A T G C T P's, and you'll know what you'll learn what those are later. Just as a hint, it's three phosphates: one, two, three, all linked together. So phosphate connected to phosphate connected to connected to phosphate connected to some kind of nucleotide. Just because they say it. You might want to know. So if it was A, then there would be TP, ATP, three phosphates connected to A. If it's a G, it's TP. If it's a C, it's TP. And if it's a G, it's TP. And of course, you can also have a UTP. Why not? You said three phosphates at the back at the back of each of the letters. You have your How the use of nucleotides as an energy source. So that would be an energy source. But of course, it's famous for information, right? Having the, the information that makes, makes you who you are. And then enzymes, RNA can make enzymes. All right. DNA, for the most part, doesn't do that, but RNA will. Proteins are actually really good at making enzymes, and we'll talk about that later. In fact, that's your next lab. So when you take a look at carbohydrates, carbohydrates can be structural, and we've talked about that a couple times now. So you can be uh, structural components, in this case, cell walls, right? Cell walls be made of carbohydrates, and... The one we talked about was cellulose, which makes up wood, wooden stools made of sugar that we've talked about, all your wooden stools, your paper. And of course, cellulose is also makes up paper because you take wood and you chop it all up into strands and compress it, you get paper. So they're important for energy. Obviously, carbohydrates are, are important for energy, so, so structural. And we're going to talk again about each of these individually, but carbohydrates can also be for energy. And actually, is, is, uh, it's probably the most important use of it is energy. But it can be structural in the form of cell walls. And cell walls in plants can be used to make wood, trees, in the case of trees, you can chop it up and make wood, right? Water is obviously important. Um, it's a solvent of life. It's where everything is dissolved in. 
It creates pressure inside cells. It gives you volume, fills up your spaces in plants, especially. That's what we call Tugert pressure. But water is the key to water. Is it what things are dissolved in? Remember, water is a universal solvent. We've talked about that a lot. So it's a solvent. Water is a solvent of life. For almost every, for almost every life form that I know of. In fact, I want to say all life form on this planet. Water, all life forms on this planet. Water is the solvent where things happen. So you're looking at you're looking at water. You got to think solvent, and of course that means things are dissolved, and water is polar, and it can dissolve nonpolar and polar to some extent, but water is really a, a really good polar molecule, so it means ions and different things get dissolved in it. So that's very important. Proteins may be structural. It could be structural, like in your skin, your hair, right? These are structures. They could act as enzymes. What are structures? Things like skeletons, right? Well, our skeleton is not made of protein. It's made of, uh, of calcium, but... Where there's, there's, there are proteins involved. But the, the bottom line is structure is the stuff that gives things shape, right? So skin, uh, uh, hair. Enzymes uh, can form... Enzymes can form and help reactions go uh, move along. Chemical reactions in your body move along. And we'll talk about what those are. You don't know what those are yet, but their enzymes are there. They're made of proteins. A lot of enzymes are made of proteins. Of course, some enzymes are made of RNA. So, structural components. And then, uh, yeah, let's just leave it at that. What makes proteins? You'll learn about that very soon. Ribosomes which are made of RNA and proteins. Make proteins. And lipids, of course, fats. They're a major component of your the major component uh, component of your of your cell membranes they're used for to store energy they uh, they make membranes in your organelles as well as the cell in general uh, they use as store as a source of energy to store energy so you know lipids fat Fat's a very important source of energy, but it's also structural because it makes the membrane that allows things to enter and leave a cell. We'll talk about that as well later. All right. So when we talk about these biomolecules, the point here is not to know what each of the functions functions are. You will learn those as we move along. What is important here is that you understand that each different biomolecule has a different function. Proteins do one, uh, do a couple things. There's, they can be structural. They can act as enzymes. You may not understand what enzymes are, but they have to do with chemical reactions. You know, water is a solvent. Also acts to create pressure. Uh, if you've ever had a swollen eye or a swollen leg. For any body part of yours is swollen, you felt it, you felt that pressure. That is water rushing in and pushing back, right? So swelling is water. Well, swelling in plants is called Tugger pressure. So here's carbohydrates. They're, they are a source of energy. They can be structural, like in cellulose for the cell walls. Um, enzymes. Uh, 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 nucleic acids can be uh, mostly for informational. It's a, kind of a big function they have. RNA uh, RNAs can be 
enzymes, can act as enzymes. And they are also form, nucleotides also form our energy sources, ATP, GTP, CTP, but ma mainly ATP, right? And lipids, lipids are fat or can be a source of energy, but also uh, are very, uh, can be structural in the case of membranes, right? For cells. All right. So you should be able to summarize each biomolecule, biological roles of each of the biomolecules. All right. I just want to mention one more thing about proteins. Not only do they act as enzymes, right? And, they, and I said they were structural like hair and skin. That's on a macro scale. On a micro scale here in the, in the, in the cell, they also have structural components that, that, and functional components. So the cell itself has a cytoskeleton, right? So there's a skeleton that gives this cell shape. Um, cytoskeletons are made of proteins. Uh, there's little doorways in communication doorways and uh, that allow things in and out of the membrane. Um, those are made of proteins. So proteins can have various functions and you know they have a, they're probably you know the one thing you would have to say is a functional unit of the cell. It's it's hard to say something that general because if you think about it carbohydrates can be functional and carbonucleotides and lipids can be functional all that's true. But proteins are the workhorse of the cell. Because they act as enzymes and they act as struck and enzymes run everything that happen in the cell. Most of the chemical reactions that happen in your body wouldn't work without enzymes. And each enzyme is different, and each enzyme is has a gene associated with it. And so there's all kinds of 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 reasons to say that proteins are the functional unit of the cell. In fact, most of these would not be made without enzymes. All right, let's move on.